as our Colorado grows, with it comes a growing need for places to go for things to do. Well, tonight in Commerce City, it seemed like half the town came out for ribbon cutting, one of a handful of new projects made possible by a single penny. Denver 7th Jason Grenauer explains how residents made this happen for themselves. I live in Commerce City. And so does the rest of Gianna Gonzalez's family. It's their home. The problem the closest rec center was Brighton, the Brighton Recreation Center. Commerce City was a community in need of a few things. But that all changed with this. In 2013, voters approved a one cent sales tax. That would raise money for major projects and improvements throughout Commerce City. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing cities in the state of Colorado. And with that growth, we know we have an obligation to provide services. The tax raises about $15 million a year for capital projects. So far, that money has improved the old rec center, added a pool at a park, improved three other parks, and helped with widening Tower Road. Tonight was the biggest of the first wave of the so-called penny tax projects, the opening of a brand new rec center. This center and other improvements will have a direct impact on the growing number of Commerce City residents, a population that's jumped more than 20 percent from 2010 to 2017. We didn't grow when most of the others were growing, and now it's kind of like our turn. I mean, we're proud that we're starting to have those amenities that other cities have had. Meaning the Gonzalez family won't have to go far to enjoy their community. I think we'll be here a lot. In Commerce City, I'm Jason Grenow, Denver 7.